Welcome to Dream Chaser TV. I'm your host, Mira. On today's show, we have them. You love them. Big Reg from Hot 93.7. Come back and we'll talk to Big Reg, everybody. Dream Chaser TV. Let's go. All right, Big Reg, tell us a little bit about being a DJ on Hot 93.7. What's that all about? Oh, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty fun job. You know, I, I can't say it's not fun at all. As they say, it's always good to do something that you love doing. I love being a DJ on the radio, but it's also work that goes into it. It's not just all talking. Right. Well, tell us a little bit about, like, how you got there. I mean, um, Hot 93.7 is celebrating their 10-year anniversary right now. Yes. And so, like, how long have you been working with Hot 93.7? And what was your the road you took to get there? Well, I've been there since August of 2003. Okay. And uh, my road to Hot 93.7, um, actually I was on a radio station here in Hartford uh, called Jams 910. It was an AM station. Yep, yep. And um, actually I always loved entertainment, mm -hmm. you know. I couldn't sing, couldn't dance. I just knew I wanted to be in the entertainment field somehow. So I tried to figure out what could I do. Right. And, uh, so I was promoting parties, promoting concerts. And I went to uh, the radio station Jams 910 to make sure that my spots and commercials and everything was running correctly mm -hmm. and a guy that was on the radio named JJ Fox mm -hmm. he uh, asked me to come and sit in with him on the radio we sat there and you know we was just talking you know I'm just kicking it on the radio I was having fun just shouting out my friends and you know stuff like that mm -hmm. I really didn't know that you got paid doing radio let alone how much you get paid doing radio right so um I became an everyday thing. I started going there every day for free. Mm -hmm. You know, I started watching him, learning, you know, and just talking. And um, the program director at the time there, name was Ricky Ricardo. Mm -hmm. I had never met him. I just was coming on a radio show at night. Right. And so finally I met him. Mm -hmm. And he was like, okay, you can continue to do it, which he probably didn't care because he didn't have to pay me. Right. You know, and people liked it. And um, then he moved on to just being a program director, which left the shift open in the afternoon at 2. So J.J. Fox moved to the 2 o'clock position, and uh, he said, would you like a job? Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow. He said, I tell you what, I'm going to start you on Sundays, Sunday afternoons. I said, okay. So I went to Sunday. I was amped up for my first show. Mm -hmm. I messed it all up, <laughs> you know. But um, I kept, I kept going. I kept learning. I kept learning. And he said, "I think you're ready." And he put me at this six o'clock evening show, and showed me the money I was getting. I was like, "Wow! I think this is what I'm going to do." This is what you're going to do. So that's a, you know, I didn't know that. So this is this is great because this is a great. That was a great story. So basically, you were doing something that you were chasing your dream already, promoting yes. and everything, mm -hmm. and then you kind of fell into. Like your career, you you fell into something that you wanted was, to do. I was chasing something in entertainment. I was also um, working as a street rep for Def Jam Records. Mm -hmm. I was the uh, rep for Connecticut, and um, you know that's pretty much just being street team. Anytime anybody came to the market, I had to put up all the promo stuff and mm -hmm. you know do all that. So I was easing my way into the entertainment field and right. trying to meet as many people as I can. Mm -hmm. And when that came along, it it just helped me. Right. You know, so when I got to doing that, I was like, you know, it's just talking to them. I like talking, mm -hmm. you know, interacting with people. And, you know, it just it just seemed like that's that's it. That's how I'm getting to entertainment feel. Right. And it was something that I like doing. Love music. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to talk to people calling up and, you know, your friends hear you on the radio, you shout your friends out. It's just like it, it was just like that's what I that's what I wanted to do in entertainment. So what have you had to do to kind of perfect your, your art? You know, so it's one thing to fall into it, but what have you had to do since then to become better? Well, I, um, I would advise everybody to try to get into it the way I did it. I would say school. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they got a lot of schools out here, um, Connecticut School of Broadcasting, or you can uh, take communication in college. You know, I pretty much did on-the-job training. You know, and at that time when I came in, I was made for hip-hop music. Mm -hmm. You know, that was, it was, I was a big fan of hip hop and I fell into it because I was watching music that we were playing. So people were able to identify with the stuff that I said and everything. But like I said, when I first got on, I made a lot of mistakes because I didn't know the rules of radio. Right. So, you know, as I went on, I, I, I listened to people, I watched people, and I noticed, okay, you got to do 
a lot of reading in radio. Mm -hmm. You know, you got you got the sales lines that you got to do, and that's the advertisement that helps make the money money for the station. So let's let me just stop for a second. So let, let's say hypothetically, mm -hmm. I paid the amount of money. Dream Chaser TV paid mm -hmm. the amount of money to have a shout out on the radio, like uh, you're going to advertise for us. Okay. And let's say that, you, I'm not even going to give you the words, but why don't you take camera two over here and do a shout out for Dream Chaser TV, you know, just show me how it would be done, just you know, just so I can see how it goes. Okay, um, say if your show comes on at Monday at 9 o'clock. Yeah. Alright? Yeah. And I'm on the radio, uh, I'd say, uh, right to the like, camera, right there. Hot 937, Harford's number one for hip hop and RB. Big Reg holding you down. Make sure you check out Dream Chasers TV. This comes on tonight at 9 p.m. on Dream Chasers TV. So make sure you check it out. It's going to be off the hook. Shout out to Amuro. He does a great job on that show, all right? Let's get back into the mix. You know what it is. Big Reg, Hot 937. Let's go. All right, cut. Cut. We're going to we're gonna do that again. It's Mira, M I R. That was good. You know, um, we're going we're gonna to go. We're going to do take two on that. Um, action, Big Reg. Okay, say your show comes on Monday at 9 p.m. Yes. All right. I'll get on it. I'll say Hot 937 Hoffers, number one for hip hop and R&B. Big Reg holding you down. And don't forget, tonight it comes, it goes down on CBS Dreamcatchers. You need to check that out. Mira. I got it right? Yeah. All right. Mira he does a great <laughs> job on the show. It shows everybody who's chasing their dreams. Let you know that you can chase yours and anything is possible, all right? Get back into the mix. We're going to get into a hot joint from Alicia Keys. It's called Whatever Whatever on Hot 937. Yeah. All right. Hey, yeah, that was good stuff. All right. So, so you have to be able to, I mean, I noticed your voice went a little bit more radio, you yeah, know? Yeah. And, and so you have to kind of be able to utilize like um, a different tone and, and kind yeah. of go into that flow. So what I, what I was taught in radio was when I'm... Because people can't see you, they can only hear you. Right. Always smile. Mm -hmm. Always smile. If you're smiling, it, it gives off the impression that that you're happy. You know, if, you, if you're frowning up, you probably come across angry. So if you always smile, no matter what, you can just you can have a bad day. Right. But if you're smiling, mm -hmm. it's hard for something to come out bad. So they can actually. So basically, they can hear a smile. Yeah, and pretty, pretty much. Hear, yeah. They can hear it in your voice. That's 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 interesting. So let me smile it up for the people out there. You know, while we're doing Dream Chase the Team V. All right, so so tell us a little bit about like who helped you along the way. So one of the things we always emphasize is that you know nobody does it on on their own. So who who helped you get to where you are right now with Hot ninety three point seven? Well, um, at Hot ninety three seven, um, I think it was a lot of persistence for one. Mm -hmm. You know, um, like I said, the radio station I was on, Jams 910, had went down because 93.7 came in, big right. FM station, big money, little station loses. Right. So um, I said, well, I can't stop there. I got to try to get into this station. Right. So I tried for two years. Hmm. I, I couldn't get in. So I went to 89.9, which is WQTQ, mm -hmm. you know, which didn't pay, mm -hmm. but just to stay sharp. Right. And I was on that station. And uh, 937, you know, they, they would listen mm -hmm. because I would, I would always, every every couple of weeks, call up and let them know I'm still out here. I'm, you know, I'm still interested in working for your station and everything. And um, I went, Nancy Barrels mm -hmm. had called me in and asked me to do something with her for a promo on the morning show. Right. So I went in and we cut the promo and I seen the big boss, the general manager. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, when he was coming out. I said, you know what, by this time I'm, I'm, I'm fed up, they didn't hire me, I've been trying forever. Mm -hmm. The first program director, he didn't hire me, he had said I was too popular, uh, you know, too street, it was, it was a lot of stuff. So, right. I mean, I seen that GM, uh, I told him uh, he was looking for a program director. I knew I wasn't qualified for that position yet, but mm -hmm. I told him whoever your program director is, whoever you get, make sure they're in tune to the streets. Mm -hmm. Because there's no presence in the streets from Hot 937. Right. And he said, all right, nice talking to you. Mm -hmm. And walked off, and I'm like, well, what did I just do? Right. <laughs> and uh, I get a call from Nancy Barrows telling me, um, uh, did you speak to the GM leaders? I was like, yeah. I'm like, oh, boy. And she said, well, I like you. Mm -hmm. She said, well, if the new program di director likes you, you uh, might be in, mm -hmm. which was uh, DJ Buck. Right. And DJ Buck called me. Uh, we talked, he was like, you seem like a cool guy, but I want to get a feel for you, so come in. Mm -hmm. So I went in, we talked, and he said, yeah, he said, you know what? 
Well, so, you know, one of the things that I, that I love about this story, and I mean, the more you talk about it, it shows your persistence. Yeah. It shows that, you know, with dreams, they don't just happen. Yeah, we were just saying, they don't happen overnight. It's not no. like you just wake up and you just you get it up, up on the radio. Can't you can't give up. up. Um, and and you're, you're really pointing out all of the points that, you know, uh, any dream chaser needs to understand mm -hmm. is that if you want something, you got to really keep going at it. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm still chasing. Okay. I'm not. I'm not where I want to be. I mean, I'm not. I'm not settled in uh, where I'm at. I'm still chasing the dream. I mean, you know, right now I'm, I'm a part-time job on the radio. Right. And I, I want to be full-time. Right. So I'm still chasing the dream. So the dream don't. It don't end. So why don't you go ahead and say it in the camera? Well, camera one again. You know, we're getting close into the show. Go ahead and, and and promote Big Reg this time for that full-time position on on Hot 93.7. Well, my name is Big Reg, you know, I take a full-time position, if it's not Hot 937, anywhere in this country, except for Alaska, that's kind of <laughs> too cold. Right. Alright? And uh, make sure you check me out, Big Reg 860, that's the Twitter, Big Reg 860, that's Facebook. You can see me at any club, any concert around here in the Connecticut, Massachusetts, Long Island area. I do my thing, you know, you see me host, uh, you know, do a lot of stuff with the kids, so, you know, I think I'm pretty good. And I think your radio station need me on it. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, this was a great show. I almost want to do a part two to this. I think we may need to keep taping because this is good. But let's let's let let's see. I'm gonna talk to the people behind the scenes. What I am gonna say is this: Dream chasers, never stop dreaming.